Hello everyone. Today's video for biochemistry in just three minutes is one of the important tests, which is not only done for the diagnosis, but also for the monitoring of long-term glucose control for the diabetes mellitus. Yes, you guessed it right. That is glycated hemoglobin, which is also known as the HbA1c. So first, what is glycated hemoglobin? So in the glycated hemoglobin, there is an attachment of glucose to the hemoglobin via non-enzymatic process, which is known as a glycation. So this is how HbA1c formed. Fine. And this addition of glucose to the hemoglobin is directly proportional to the blood sugar level. So in the diabetes mellitus, there is an increased value of glycated hemoglobin. And once this glucose attached to the hemoglobin, it cannot be removed. So it remains inside the RBC for the complete lifespan of RBC, that is 120 days. So that's why HbA1c reflects the blood glucose control for the past 10 to 12 weeks. Fine. Now what are the normal values and how to do the interpretation? So the HbA1c values are expressed as a total fraction of hemoglobin and the normal value of HbA1c is less than 5.5 percentage and if the value is greater than 6.5 percentage that indicates person is having diabetes mellitus. Value of 6 percent indicates a very good control, value of 7 percent indicates adequate control, value of 8 percent indicates inadequate control and value of 9 percent indicates very poor control. Now what are the advantages of HbA1c? So the first advantage of doing HbA1c is fasting sample is not required. That is very, very important advantage. Second advantage is HbA1c samples are very, very stable. Third advantage is HbA1c values are not affected by acute changes like recent food intake or recent change in the glucose level. Fourth advantage is there is a very low intra-individual variability in the HbA1c value. And the fifth advantage is HbA1c values are very, very important indicator for, uh, for predicting the complication of diabetes mellitus. And last advantage is HbA1c values reflects the long-term glucose control in the diabetes mellitus. So these are the advantages of doing HbA1c. Now what is the frequency of doing HbA1c test? So a frequency of doing HbA1c test for the diabetes mellitus is once in a two month. Fine, you have to do the HbA1c test once in a two month. So this is all about HbA1c which is also known as the glycated hemoglobin. Please like, share and subscribe Biochemistry Basics by Dr. Amit and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get all the notifications from it. Thank you.